have taken a little detour back to the Cozy Nest Cottage. I needed to go pick up the beautiful gifted plant. In a quarter mile, slight left. That I received when I moved into my tiny home on the lease lot. That's how I differentiate. I own my property now, and my first stepping stone was on a lease slot with a tiny home that was built by the Amish. And I'm headed over now to Dixie's. She's not going to be home. She's still at work to pick up this Slight left on the Silver Hill Road. Gorgeous devil's ivy that she has taken care of for me for a year now. I said I need to make a side road trip here. So that's what I'm doing guys. I will show you the tiny home community from my window if there's nobody out. I will show you the tiny home that I lived in if she's not out. I don't want a video if anybody's out. And um, this is called Silver Hill Escapes. Lovely, lovely tiny home community on lease lots. I think there's 30. And Dixie has told me that the neighbors have changed and there's some that are still there. And this is bringing back some good memories. I'm sure as I travel down the road here a little bit more, I used to walk the street up to the community every day and get in three or four miles every day so all right I will show you what I can show you and uh, for those of you who are new you might enjoy seeing this tiny home community in Georgia in a quarter mile turn green and simple life this is the road that I walked every single day I did a lot of shorts I did actual videos showing you the creek, showing you the landscape, all of it. I walk this every day. Boy, it's really grown up right now. Uh, they kept a lot of this mode in the past, so I don't know. But it is, like I said, enjoyable to come back here. I showed you the horses over here on the right. I don't know if they're out. It's a pretty hot day here. There's the barn. Would walk down here. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Do I miss this? No. But do I enjoy the memory? Yes. Will I ever come back here again? Probably not. I did do a video of Dixie's home. I'll try to remember to put that in the description. She has a gorgeous tiny home. And Robbie and Larry are no longer here. I did a video with their home. And uh, yeah, tiny home right over here. Remember guys, those of you who've been with me for a while, Oh, we've got a lot here for sale now. Lot for sale. Anybody interested? These are on the outskirts of Silver Hill Escapes. These are lots that you can buy. All right. Hopefully the gate code will work. I had forgotten it. Dixie gave me the gate code. In 600 feet, you will arrive at your destination. breaking ground and then building. This is a really cute home here. Up the hill we go. Boy, I remember walking this. Up the hill. I'd like to have a gate, something like that. At my tiny home. I had shown you them building this. Actually, we walked in it when it was just the um, exterior structure. Very cute. This looks new here. 
Maybe not. Adorable. Oh, I've got FedEx behind me. <laughs> oh. Guys, Summer Hill Escape, a tiny home community. I didn't show you this for the longest time for safety until I actually moved the mailboxes. And there is private community, residents only. The gate's opening. This is where Robbie and Larry used to live. And I did the video. And then here we are, guys. Drum roll. There it is. Where I used to live. She's got a shed out front. Wow, nice gate there. She's done a great job. Up the hill we go. Friends used to live here. It's for sale now. Remember all this? We've got friends that live there. I wanted to do a video with them and that didn't happen. Beautiful. This one is new here. Sorry, I'm going back and forth. I think this one is new also. Wow, I'm just, I'm just, I did a, a video of Michelle's, if you remember that. You go back in the playlist, you can see these. There's the one I had shown you before. And this is Dixie's house right here where my plant is. I can see it, oh my gosh. Home, Dixie. I remember us talking right here. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for taking care of this plant for me. This beautiful plant that one of you subscribers gave me. There it is. Okay. I've driven a lot of miles out of the way here today to pick this up. Look how pretty. She's got such a pretty place here. And here's the plant. So we'll get this in to Happy Haven. Take it home. I love the table there. My heart's beating with the memories. Back here, the woods. Oh my gosh, she's got a lovely sight. I can't believe what I just saw with my house too and that gate, how nice that looks. Wow. So this is for those of you who are new. One of my favorite areas. It's so quiet here. This is just like back in the day. I guess everybody's inside, it's 80 degrees. So no one's hanging outside or they're still at work. And uh, that was a new home coming in as I was leaving. She was a follower subscriber. I don't know if she still is or not. Put in the comments if you're there. I think they moved. But here, guys, look at this. The peacefulness. Do you remember this? Put in the comments. I loved sitting here. Usually I would bake here for two or three hours guess that's why I have all the crepey, wrinkly skin that I have now. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. I love the suntan. I still love a suntan. So now I'm just showing the effects of sun and, and old age, right? So I'm going to drive around. So, just take a little drive through here. Wasn't really expecting to see anybody or say hi. Definitely would have stopped if Robbie and Larry were home or if Dixie was home. Had a handful of friends here, more acquaintances. I mean, I was only here about a year. And uh, people doing their own thing, working. Let's take a little trip around the corner here. Look how pretty. They're all so cute. Show you a little bit through the Here's a new one. I think this one's new. Wow. People have done a nice job. Looking good. 
This is in Lyerly, Georgia, if you're interested. And this is Silver Hill Escapes. Look at my cross sitting there, I love it. And my friend that I would see out on the walking, she's an avid walker, she's still here. There's a new one, the Honey Hive. Hello, sunshine. And then we go around, a little cul-de-sac area here. I think this is another new home here. Well, maybe he's sold out of lots now. I think the person that bought mine has up for sale because she wants a bigger place from what I understand, maybe a, a separate bedroom. I don't know. The Wolf Den Enterprises. Very nice. Beautiful. <laughs> I think I keep saying the same thing. Friend that lived there. And I think this one is new. Sorry, it's just through the window. It's just too hot. And I need to get back on track to where I'm actually headed <laughs> from this detour. I think these people moved and resold. There's a young couple there. Friend back there that still lives here. A couple friends here. More acquaintances than anything. I guess the lighting is better. Actually showed you these as they were coming in too. So these have both been here a while. Mountain View Cabin. That's a nice sign. And now we're headed out. Headed out. See you do. So excited to have the plant. <laughs> Thank you. I know people make comments. All those gifts and you're back on the road. Yeah, they're all in my new tiny home. I hope you enjoyed that open house. And that's a cute little decoration there. Really cute. Yes, this is an adorable place. So as we head out, maybe the lighting's a little better. I don't know. Show you from the front here. Yep. I've got some new ideas about what I'm going to be doing when I get back with my landscaping. I may have, might have switched up my list a little bit, so you'll have to stay tuned. You know, it was going to be landscaping for the RV spot and the shed, and I might be rearranging my priorities right now. Stay tuned, it's pretty exciting what God has placed on my heart. As we go out, just showing you because of the lighting. Some of you will maybe comment that the lighting was terrible, so hopefully this is not terrible now. <laughs> I got to show you back around here, down into the woods. I used to love looking down into the woods. Remember my uh, walking buddies? the three dogs too. Back over here again. This gives you a really good perspective. Andy's totally bored. He's falling over. I have so much extra stuff in here right now. A couple more days, I'll be home. Or I should say to my landing zone because wherever my wheels stop is my home. Very cute. Up close and personal here now. And we're back to the pool. And the little clubhouse where we had, oh my gosh, it was just a year ago or, no, two years ago, we had a nice uh, Halloween party there fall festival party.
Robbie had organized that. It was really nice, really nice. So there's my friend Dixie's. We had a good text chat this morning. See you later, Dixie. Hope you come visit. And then over here, I was going to tour their place. It's beautiful, but ran out of time. Who would walk this every single day. Michelle's place again, where I did an, um, a video. This home is new here. Here, new. Somebody waved to me, I don't know who they were, and then spin back on this side. This is new and very cute. I love the gate. Wow, they've got a full deck that goes down back. That's exciting. That's really exciting. Well, this lady had just moved in. A single lady here. I think my age, maybe a little older. She didn't stay long. That's okay. I know what that's like. She had other plans, I'm sure. Life changes. And then this is the other one that's for sale. This was a young couple. I think they moved back to their hometown. Might be expecting a baby. I don't know. There's a phone number. And then my friends up, up above here, this is like the Taj Mahal, but they're never here from what I hear. As they come and go, this is like a little reprieve for them, which is wonderful. Very expensive home. And then this is, wow, I'm really impressed with this, really. She's done a great job, look at that. The gate. Wow, very nice. I just love it in the front there and this here. The shed in the front like that. Beautiful. Beautiful job. Wow. I wonder if she's built on the back. I don't know. She's added on to the porch, which is very cool. For a while, I thought it was for sale, but maybe it's not now. Maybe she's selling it herself. I don't know. Maybe it's not for sale. <laughs> Robbie sold pretty quickly. They're doing something different with their life. Very happy for them. She went back to some local roots, I think. Cute little place there. They built on in the back too. All right guys, I'm gonna get back on the interstate. Stop here for the gate to open, awesome. Hope you enjoyed this little tour of where I used to live. And maybe you understand now better. I moved out of this adorable community where the lot rent was I don't remember, I don't know, it was around 500, 550 a month and it was gonna be going up like the third and the fifth year, 3% or 5%. I can't remember. Things change. And I wanted to get out from under a lease lot. The mailboxes. So there you have it. I used to walk up the hill there too. Just want to wish you all blessings in your day and joy in your journey however that looks for you oh that's my seatbelt <laughs> bye bye tiny home community I don't know that I'll ever be back but hopefully some of my friends will come visit all right, guys, be sure and subscribe, click the bell, updates, going back to the tiny home cottage, lots of outdoor projects gonna be going on, and then I'll be hitting the road again, God willing, back to Arizona.
for the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous in January. Later. It's gorgeous or what? Just one more thing. My walk every single day. Down the hill, back up the hill. And all the way around, I added to my walk where I just showed you. Did a lot of trash picking back here in the day too. Fun times. And now, a new beginnings.